Hey guys, all right. It's going to be a fairly short video. I wanted to show uh, this thing that I bought. This is an Astron BB30M, and I got it from RNL, and uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, this is a power supply battery switcher. Uh, it's an uninterruptible power supply for a 12 volt or a 27 volt system, interestingly enough. And this was about fifty dollars from RNL, and it's a it's a nice little gadget. It uh, so here on this side we hook up the radio power supply, goes to those two connections. Uh, it's a common, obvi, uh, and that goes to your battery. And then this comes from the power supply. This is uh, rated for thirty amps. It has two fifteen amp fuses. I assume in series since this is rated for 30 amps um, and what we do is we hook our power supply in here on these two terminals and then this goes out to the uh, as I said to the radio and then this goes to your battery now what's interesting is and this is an uninterruptible power supply it will switch over automatically um, what's interesting is this says that it is made for SLA sealed lead acid batteries and I bought this and it didn't it didn't say LifePo specifically so I assumed it was LifePo and I got it in the documentation which is a one pager um, and there's a you know there's a little warranty paper and then this is our documentation for it and it shows of course it shows our connections um, the radio or the load a common negative between the two and then the battery hookup on this side and then over here the power supply inputs <clears throat> um, and it talks about this is for an SLA battery it specifically says SLA and I thought well dang it I bought this and it's not gonna work because I have a I have a life po I was gonna use this with I have a, a I think a 32 amp hour life po maybe at, at 20 I can't remember what I have specifically I was going to use which battery but anyway I was going to use LifePo and I thought well this isn't going to work I'm going to have to send it back so I did a little reading and it turns out that you can use an SLA charger for a LifePo battery as long as the voltages are within the same range so um, this will charge a LifePo the LifePo batteries fall within the SLA charge range. They're they're concurrent and overlapping, so you can use this with a with a lithium iron phosphate uh, battery. It will work. You cannot use this with a lithium ion battery because it charges at a different rate, different input output current, so on and so forth. So <clears throat> I plan to hook this up. I'm using an ICOM 7610. And I have uh, my power supply, and I don't remember what brand of power supply I'm using. It's a, and it's a 30 amp power supply as well. Uh, um, so I plan to hook this and my my LifePo up. I believe it is a 20 amp hour that I have. So I plan to hook all these up, and what this will give me is, in the event of a power outage, I can still operate the radio. Um, my shack set up where it is. Um, I have a UPS that the computer that I use to control the radio do FT8 so on and so forth all that's also on a UPS so I could FT8 without power but at the very least I can use it for sideband and CW in the event of a power outage so I will still have an HF radio available in the event of power outage here the device <coughs> charges the battery when power is applied to it it keeps the battery topped off um, under heavy load conditions it will pull the battery in at the same time as the 12 volt um, power supply so if for some reason your local power current drops below and the power supply is struggling this will kick over and supplement the um, the wall powered 12 volt power supply which is pretty cool and so like I said when it's not in use it's charging the battery it has three LED indicators to show you um, when the battery is charged, when it's charging, and when it's discharging. So that's it. It's it's a pretty straightforward little device. Um, again, this is a Astron 
model BB30M. Um, it is rated for 30 amp current and the charging current is up to 3.6 amps uh, and it will it will work uh, it'll take in 14 volts DC for a 12 volt battery up to 27.6 volts DC for a 24 volt battery with an output um, of 0.5 volts less than the input voltage so I believe that this on the documentation says this is rated for 13 point uh, output voltage 13.4 volts DC max at 13.8 volt DC operation so this will run just about any uh, amateur radio just fine so anyway I thought this is a pretty cool deal now there are other um, there are other devices that are way fancier than this um, I think West Mountain radio makes some called power gate which probably are uh, have a higher load. I don't have one of those devices. I all the stuff you've ever seen on my channel, I actually have purchased with my own funds. I either use it or wanted to tinker with it bad enough to buy it. Um, so I don't have any of the fancier ones. This is all I really need. Um, I'm gonna um, stick a 12 volt battery under the table where the radio stuff is at, wire it to this, and then I'll have backup power for the radio uh, during a power outage. The computer I use is a small computer. It's a it's a mini's forum computer, and it is a, a micro ATX motherboard. So it will run on the UPS that it's on for quite a while. So theoretically, I could I could operate FT8 four to six hours probably um, with the radio. I don't think the UPS will stay up that long. I can't remember the rating on my computer UPS. But on single sideband with a 20 amp hour battery and this uh, doing the swap over, easily six to eight hours of pretty much nonstop single sideband um, at a, obviously a much lower duty cycle than FT8 would be. So in any case, that's, uh, that's it. I wanted to share this device with you guys and, and, and show you all. I think it's pretty cool. Um, the price was right on it. Again, it was $50 from RNL. I don't remember if that's the regular price or it was one of their daily specials. But again, I'll post a link to this specific device in the description below. So um, anyway, that's it. Guys, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're not so you get notified. Subscriptions are free and it'll give you a warm fuzzy and straighten your spine and cause your hair to grow back. And uh, give me the big thumbs up. Guy 73, have a good one.